All right, so I just spent about the last 35 minutes or so working with Barry Jenkins on optimizing his brokerage account um, to better prioritize the leads that they're getting from Ylopo and pretty much everywhere else as well. Um, and I thought it would be cool to kind of do a shorter version of that, a condensed version to show you what we set up um, because it answers a lot of the key questions that people were asking us at the recent Ylopo Summit. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your smart list to um, better prioritize and better surface the great stuff that Ylopo is doing and the leads that are becoming active as a result of it. And I'm also going to show you how to set up the really popular nurture structure that Robbie T shared uh, from the stage at the summit. So I'm going to show you how to set that all up inside of Follow Up Boss. Okay. So when we start, um, so there's a, a smart list that everybody's going to have added, and this is actually a Follow Up Boss default smart list, and this is for your new leads. Okay. Um, and so basically, the um, let me just show that for everybody. So. Basically, the new leads is going to show you everybody that was created less than seven days ago. Okay, so this is just all the brand new leads that come into your account. But what Barry and I did is we narrowed it. Um, he had already narrowed it down, so he included people that you know were in his sphere import. Um, he narrowed uh, anybody that was um, that he might import along the way, so like new agents and stuff like that when they're importing their database into their brokerage follow up boss account. Um, so he's eliminated those from the new leads list. But then what we did uh, is we took it a step further, all right? And so this is a really important thing that I think folks miss often in their follow-up boss smart list is since they can be dynamic, right? So they can actually narrow in a lot further than just showing you the new leads that have come in in the last seven days, but actually show you the people, um, narrow it down to the people that you actually need to call right now. And so what we did is we filtered out using this uh, last call made column, um, we filtered out people that you haven't tried to call in more than two days, because what that does is it, um, it shows you only the people that, you know, you haven't called in that time frame. So that makes the smart list dynamic and removes a lot of the guesswork for the people who are doing the follow-up to make sure that when they click on that smart list, they know if anybody is showing up on it, they need to call them. It's not a list that they have to kind of sort through on their own or figure out who out of that list they should be calling. Right. So what this does is now going to set them up so that every other day they're going to come back onto this list so that you can try to call them again. Right. And then we also added um, because Barry's using custom stages here to indicate, you know, once you've spoken to a person and you know their time frame, uh, when you, you know, how often you should be following up with those people. Um, we filtered out anybody that has been added to those custom stages so that really all you're seeing are the new leads and we're gonna let these other nurture lists handle the people that you've, you now understand what their time frame is and how often you're gonna be calling them, all right? So those are a couple of the changes that we made to this new lead smart list um, to really narrow in for Barry, uh, you know, who his team should be focusing on. Um, then we took a look at his Ylopo priority leads. Now, these are, um, this is actually a smart list that's automatically added by Ylopo, and it does a couple of really cool things uh, through the integration that's been built. Um, so the biggest thing, what it's doing is, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Ylopo priority leads are basically any of the leads that they've noticed are carrying out certain behaviors that indicate that they're more engaged than most people on your website, right? So they might be looking at the same listing over and over again, or maybe they came back to your site after a period of inactivity. Um, and Ylopo, what they're doing, they're really intelligently surfacing these opportunities because they're much higher leverage than looking at, you know, all thousand leads that might be, um, you know, in your database and, you know, surfacing sort of the top 10% or 20% um, for you to focus your follow-up. And so the way this particular list works, so what Ylopo does is they, when there is a priority lead alert, they add a note that shows you the details of what created that alert. Um, they give you some recommended actions, and then they give you all of these quick links so that you can take action very, very quickly, including script ideas for how you should follow up, okay? Um, there's also always going to be this note that always stays at the top of you know, the timeline for any lead that's connected with Ylopo um, so that you have quick access to, you know, send push listings, do all those kinds of things and see what their recent activity is. Um, finally, you can also see all of a lead's recent activity right here inside of Follow-Up Boss. 
And if you wanted to quickly reference what homes they actually are looking at, you can click that property address and see the Ylopo, uh, see the listing on your Ylopo site so that you can get some context um, you know, ahead of making that call uh, so that you can stand to have a more productive conversation with them, right? And then with these priority notifications, what Ylopo is doing through this integration is they're also adding a task reminder to make sure to, to let you know about that, that priority notification. And what happens is when you mark that as complete, so when you've taken their suggested actions here, you check this task off to mark it as completed, that will remove that contact from the Ylopo priority smart list until the next time they carry out those behaviors that indicate that they're engaged. Okay, so really efficient way to manage those. And because of that really tight integration with Ylopo, they're doing some really dynamic things inside of Follow-Up Boss that make this a very simple and straightforward process for you. Um, now, the next smart list that Ylopo adds automatically for you to Follow-Up Boss is um, they add a few of them around Raya and you know, the AI engaging with leads, but the one that you're gonna wanna focus on for your follow-up is this one. I think the full name of it uh, by default, Barry's changed some of these names a little bit, but it's AI engaged needs follow-up, okay? And what this is showing you, again, is a list exclusively of the leads that Raya has engaged on your behalf and that are now ready for the agent to actually do some proactive follow-up. So if you take a look at these, you can see um, you know, details about the entire conversation that was had back and forth by Raya. Um, you, know, you can see you know, the, the, the responses that are coming through and you've got quick links here um, you know, to be able to quickly see your Ylopo stars back in and you know, do things like push listings and all that good stuff to uh, further engage that lead. Right. Same thing happens here is you can mark this task as completed. That will automatically remove them from, you know, the the AI engaged list um, so that you can, you know, always just make sure that what's showing up on here are the people who are in need of immediate response. OK, next we get into the nurture part. Right. And so as was discussed pretty heavily at the Ylopo Summit, this is where the biggest part of your ROI with Ylopo is going to come from. They're giving you the opportunity to engage these leads much earlier in the buying cycle. And so as a result of that, you know, you need to stay on top of what their buying timeframe is and a regular follow-up cadence to make sure that you're adding value um, and, you know, just basically staying top of mind with these folks. So what Barry's done, right, is he set up, I'll show you the uh, custom stages here. So, as an account owner, you can go in through admin and stages here, and you can customize the default stages that we provide you in Follow-Up Boss. And so what Barry's done is he's added these three stages, which correlate with you know, the same framework that Robbie T was sharing at the summit. And basically, so he's got one for hot. So these are people kind of one to three months out um, from being transaction ready. Um, you've got B, so warm. These are three to nine months out. And cold, which are nine plus months out. You can adjust these timeframes to suit your market and the typical sort of timeframes that you're, you're working with. Um, but this is the one that's worked well for Barry uh, so that he's set up for his, his agents and his market. And so what he's done is he's now created smart lists that look for anybody in that hot stage. And then the adjustments that we made together were to look for both last call and last text was more than 10 days ago. So what he's trying to do is have his agents reach out to leads in that time frame every 10 days, right? So now what happens is with this smart list, as soon as the agent follows up with that lead, it removes them from the smart list until it's been since 10 days since the last time they reached out. Um, the other thing that we did here is we actually enabled these last call made and last text sent columns onto the smart list and you can drag and drop these columns. And so we've moved these up to the front. So when the agent clicks on this smart list, they can quickly get um, immediate context as to you know, when their last communication uh, happened. But of course, they can get the full details when they click onto the contact and uh, you know, look at their timeline and review all those previous conversations, all right? Um, so again, same thing, the three to nine months, what we did is we did last text sent and last call made more than 25 days ago. And then you've got your cold um, for 
And he set that up for a time frame of every 45 days that he wants to, uh, agents reaching out to those leads. Um, a couple other things that we did here to make this really, really easy for the agents following up. Um, he said this was a game changer for him, reordering these lists for his agents. So um, what you wanna do is essentially sequence your smart lists on the people screen so that they're in order of priority for you know, when they should be called. And so what Barry's done is he's done the new, the Y priority leads and the AI needs follow up and move those to be the first three things uh, that he wants agents focused on when they go in and do their follow-up. And the reason for that is that these are all driven by consumer behavior. And so because of that, that puts more, um, more impetus, more pressure on getting a speed, you know, a fast follow-up based on that behavior or that activity versus the nurture, which can be done a little bit more on your own time or on your own schedule. But these are the ones that you want to be trying to follow up as quickly as possible. Um, so what you can do here is you can actually drag and drop these smart lists to be in the appropriate order, um, you know, for, uh, for agents to follow up. Okay. So it just really removes a lot of the guesswork on what they should do next, right? That that's all we're trying to do with these smart lists is make it so that when you click one, you know, exactly that the people showing up there need to be followed up with immediately. And um, also then when you finish everybody on a particular smart list, which one you should go to next to continue your follow-up. Um, a couple of things, and this is something Barry said he's gonna work on on his own, is with each of these smart lists, you can actually choose who can see it on your team. See, what can happen is as team leaders, we might create smart lists for a lot of different other reasons that aren't really relevant for the rest of the team, or maybe it's only relevant for maybe me and a couple of admins on the team. So what you can do is you can uh, just make it so that visibility is only to the people that you need, um, that need to have access to it. And then we declutter the list of smart lists available for everybody else on the team. All right. Um, so that was the primary things that we focused on there. Um, this will help you stay on top of your nurture and make it so none of these high value opportunities that Ylopo is helping you generate and identify across your database ever slip through the cracks. So I hope that's helpful. Don't hesitate to let me know if you have questions and you can always reach out to our support team if you need help setting anything like this.